Well, just under seven and a half hours before we say hello to the year 2020, but we need to say goodbye to the year 2019 first and what a year it was. Idaho's two largest cities electing new mayors. Idaho Governor Brad Little historically slashing regulations, making Idaho the least regulated state in the union. And then a nurse from Twin Falls was the star witness in a Colorado trial that grabbed national headlines. And both Boise State and the College of Idaho historic seasons, while a Boise State track star shined on the national stage. All of these stories we brought to you, and now we bring them to you again. Here's Mark Johnson. Twenty nineteen started in the shadows of the State House, which served as an appropriate backdrop for a year that would be peppered with rulings and policy changes. Chair votes aye, the motion passes. Medicaid expansion, which passed in twenty eighteen, ended up in front of the Idaho Supreme Court in twenty nineteen. The court rejected a challenge to its constitutionality. Coverage for qualified Idaho residents who signed up begins next week. Mr. President, following your leadership. Governor Little was a guest of the president at the White House in December for his role in making Idaho the, quote, least regulated state in the U.S. after cutting 75 percent of the state's administrative code. The governor ran on a pledge to cut government red tape. My two-year-old son, um, we can't find him. The search for what happened to eastern Idaho toddler Dior Coons Jr., who went missing without a trace four years ago, continued in early summer. A national nonprofit missing children's organization brought in a cadaver dog, which was originally thought to have picked up the scent. Despite closing the campground in Lemhi County, where he was last seen for a weekend to continue a search, nothing turned up, and the mystery remains unsolved. Uh, we did a deal with the devil. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. A Twin Falls nurse was at the center of a murder case in Colorado. Crystal Lee Kenny took a plea deal on an evidence tampering charge in the death of Colorado mom Kelsey Barrett, a case that involved the former fiance of Barrett's, who Kenny had an intimate relationship with. Patrick Frazee was found guilty of murder and sentenced to a life in prison. Kenny's sentencing in late January could come with a three-year prison term. It's the hell I would not wish upon anyone. Three little girls from Mountain Home, all sisters under the age of seven, died after the car they were riding in in Blaine County was struck from behind by an alleged drunk driver in August. The father of the girls and his fiance, also seriously injured in the wreck caused by 46-year-old Matthew Richard Park of Fairfield. He was arrested on three felony charges of vehicular manslaughter and two charges of aggravated DUI. His jury trial is set for February. House Bill 122 is amended and the Senate has passed the Senate. The hemp debate was in the spotlight for much of the year in Idaho after the state seized nearly 7,000 pounds of industrial hemp worth $1.3 million from a semi that was driving through the state. And now we've got to adapt to it. In November, Governor Little signed an executive order to align Idaho's enforcement laws with federal laws to allow the transportation of hemp through the state, a topic expected to continue in the new year in the legislature. And I've had longer run than most people ever get. 2019 saw the end of mayoral eras in Idaho's two largest cities. And? It will be my last year as your mayor. As Meridian Mayor Tammy DeVeard announced her fourth term would be her final, and Boise Mayor Dave Beter lost an election runoff with City Council President Lauren McLean ending his four-term run in the city's highest office. Both mayors would help orchestrate historic and at times controversial development and growth in their respective cities. It was a year to celebrate on the field at the College of Idaho and Boise State. The Yotes finished unbeaten in the regular season, advancing to the quarterfinals of the NAIA playoffs before losing to Grandview, Iowa. They finished their best season at 11-1. Boise State went undefeated for the first time in the conference to win the Mountain West football title. The season ended with a 38-7 defeat to former Boise State coach Chris Peterson in his final game as the Washington Huskies coach 
in the Vegas Bowl. Ostrander well out in front now. Boise State track star Allie Ostrander became the first woman in history to win three consecutive 3,000 meter steeplechase national titles. She left Boise State following graduating with a kinesiology degree to train full time for the Summer Olympics. Turn this sucker up, let's rock the stadium! When it comes to a weekend many call the most memorable weekend of the year, you probably need to go back to mid-July when Albertson Stadium was transformed into a 40,000 seat beer hall for country music legend Garth Brooks. One show wasn't enough, so at the request of the governor, a second show was added, and over 80,000 people are still talking about the weekend of the summer of 2019. What makes you decide to do this? Because I've been a recipient. You've been on the other side? Yeah. So it's a good thing. So what's it mean to you to be able to turn around and help others? A lot. And finally, as has been the case for over a decade, the end of 2019 will be remembered by many of us for the outpouring of goodness from thousands all over the region. Acts of kindness from complete strangers looking to give a hand up to neighbors and families in need. In one day, Seven Cares Idaho Shares represents what the heart of our community is all about, all year long. A day that reminds us why we live here in the greatest place in the world for so many reasons. And on this day, there were hundreds of thousands of them to prove it. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. And thank you. You are awesome.